Readers of the Chicago Tribune may know the paper's new owner is Alden Global Capital, a hedge fund that completed a $633 million takeover back in May. With that followed a massive round of buyouts of some of the paper's most well-known journalists. Alden Capital has a reputation for gutting newspapers to generate short-term profits for shareholders. And one writer with The Atlantic dove deep into the history of the company and what its ownership could spell for the future of the Tribune in an article that appears in the magazine's latest issue. And joining us to talk about that story in The Atlantic is McKay Coppins, a staff writer at The Atlantic. And we reached out to the Chicago Tribune and Alden Global Capital for comment. Neither have responded to our request. McKay Coppins, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. All right, so remind us who Alden Global Capital is and what the company's business model is with respect to newspapers. Yeah, Alden is a hedge fund known in financial circles as a vulture fund, which is to say that they focus on distressed companies, distressed businesses, and uh, either drive them into bankruptcy or find ways to maximize profits uh, through cost cutting. In the case of its newspaper business, which is really what it's become known for, it preys on uh, local newspapers that are financially struggling. It started at the tail end of the Great Recession, buying up newspapers at bargain prices, cutting the staff, selling its real estate, in some cases increasing subscription prices, in some cases outsourcing certain services like layout design or copy editing to the Philippines, uh, and generally finding ways to increase its own profits and uh, cash flow, often at the expense of the long-term viability. And, and of the this, this reputation is why a lot of uh, reporters at the Tribune tried to fight uh, this takeover. So what does this tell you about what's in store for the future of the Tribune? Well, if you look at Alden's track record, there is not a, a lot to be excited about if you're somebody who cares about the, the Chicago Tribune as a newspaper. Um, you, you know, in California, for example, where Alden kind of uh, w was early in its newspaper investing strategy, a lot of its newspapers have been consolidated, uh, shrunken down. Uh, th there have been some, uh, some st analysis, statistical analysis that show that Alden's newspapers cut their staff at twice the rate of the rest of the industry. Uh, so I think most industry observers would say they would expect a continued contraction, smaller newsroom, uh, spread more thin, trying to do uh, more and more with less and less. And you chased down the secretive owners of the company. You finally got a hold of one of them. What did you learn from them? Yeah, I, I spoke to Heath Freeman, who is the president of Alden Global Capital and the uh, the protege of uh, a, a kind of one of the pioneering vulture investors. Um, you know, it, he was interesting because his argument to me was essentially, look, the newspaper business is in bad shape. A lot of the newspapers that we have purchased uh, have been on the brink of bankruptcy or liquidation, and if not for us, they would have been shut down. That is certainly true in some cases, but it's not true in all cases. In, in fact, in the case of the Chicago Tribune, that paper was profitable when Alden bought it. The Chicago Tribune, the Tribune company in general, which includes a, a, a bunch of newspapers across the country, was profitable. Alden bought it and still offered aggressive buyouts and found ways to cut costs and shrink the newsroom. So it, I, I don't know if they can credibly make the case that they're saving these newspapers. If anything, they're making a profit by essentially driving them into the ground. And the fact that the Tribune was profitable was a case that uh, some of the reporters over there were making in trying to block this deal. Now, your article did get some backlash from some of the staff members there saying the paper hired a new editor. There are still reporters there that churn out a lot of content every day. So reports of the paper's demise perhaps a little premature? Yeah, I mean, look, I, I sympathize with them. Their case is there's still a lot of great journalists here doing great work. And they're right about that. You know, the, I don't think that you can write off the Chicago Tribune at all any more than you can write off any of these great local newspapers that Alden has come to purchase. The, the intent of the story that I wrote was to look at and examine the conditions under which these journalists are laboring. They're being asked to do an enormous amount 
with fewer and fewer resources. And that task that they're being given is increasingly difficult, but I think they deserve a lot of credit, those who have decided to stick around and keep trying to serve their city. And your article also cites some disturbing correlations uh, between markets where local newspapers have all but disappeared and markets where Alden is a dominant player. Tell us about that. Yeah, this is a key point because this isn't just a story that should matter to journalists, right? There's a huge body of research that shows that when a local newspaper vanishes or is significantly diminished, voter turnout drops, polarization increases, there's a general erosion of civic engagement. There's even evidence to suggest that city budgets get bigger along with uh, a, an increase in dysfunction and corruption because there aren't you know, journalists looking into allegations of, uh, of, of corruption. And so you know, basically bad actors are able to get away with more. So this is a story that matters uh, beyond just the newsrooms that are being gutted. And, and obviously of uh, great interest to uh, residents here in Chicago. You know, we covered uh, the fight uh, from some reporters to try and find wealthy suitors to invest in the paper to block Alden's takeover. Why do you think uh, ultimately no one stepped forward? No, it's a great question. Uh, the other newspapers owned by Tribune Company had a little bit more success finding people to step up and try to save them from Alden, although in the end, uh, Alden was able to buy all the newspapers they wanted in the Tribune Company. Um, I think that in Chicago in particular, the Tribune has had a succession of less than ideal owners, from Sam Zell to Michael Farrow. Uh, this is a, a paper that's been through a lot over the last decade and a half, and uh, I think that maybe it's burned some credibility on the business side. But honestly, look, at the end of the day, this sector is struggling and so when you're uh you're a deep pocketed hedge fund and you come in and you want to buy a newspaper you're probably going to be able to put together the best bid and that's kind of the stark reality that we're facing right now unless philanthropic minded civic minded local owners decide to step up all right and again the article is in the latest edition of the atlantic and our thanks to mckay coppins thanks so much thank you